Kate Schwenke and I have a new review and packing video for you guys today for the Lily Jade Megan diaper bag. This is one of Lily Jade's most popular styles and I've been using it for about a week now and I love it. It's beautiful, it's super comfortable, it holds a ton and it's been working really, really great for me and my family. One of my favorite things about this bag is that it's convertible so you can use it tote style, messenger style, backpack style, and backpack style has been my favorite way to use this bag. It's really, really comfortable, and I thought based on how big this bag was that it wasn't going to be that comfortable because it was so big, but it's actually really, really comfortable, and I've been really enjoying it. This particular bag is in the brandy color, which is a deep, rich, reddish brown, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. This bag also comes in two other colors. It comes in a black leather, which is really, really pretty, and it also comes in a black canvas, which is a lot lighter weight because it doesn't have as much leather. So that's a really great option too. But I personally just absolutely love leather and I think it just it looks so gorgeous on this bag. This bag is made out of full green leather and it's super smooth and soft and just like a buttery leather. As I mentioned, this does come with an extra strap that you can use a bunch of different ways. It also comes with a removable baby bag insert and a changing pad and they are both machine washable. As I mentioned, this bag is a little bit heavier due to it being all leather and it weighs in at 2.7 pounds when it's empty. That insert I was just telling you about has a ton of different pockets and it is removable and I will go through that with you guys in just a few minutes when I go through the packing portion of this video. Altogether, this bag has 21 pockets, which is amazing. I don't know any other brand that has that many pockets in a bag. So those of us who love to organize things, this is like your dream bag. This particular bag with the leather retails at $3.75 and Lily Jade often has sales, so keep an eye out for that. And one of my favorite features that I always forget to talk about in videos <laughs> is the fact that this bag has metal feet. It really helps protect the bottom of your bag. As you can see, I don't have any wear on the bottom of this bag and I have placed it on asphalt, wood, concrete, all kinds of things. It's actually not even scuffed on the metal part here, but it keeps the bottom of the bag nice and clean, which I really like, especially when I have a beautiful leather bag that I'm trying to keep beautiful. So now I'm going to go over all of the details up close for you guys so you can see, and I'm also going to go through some of the pockets and start the packing portion. And I have this bag packed up for my two boys. I have a five-year-old and a two-year-old, but this is mostly packed up for my two-year-old because he needs a lot of entertaining. So here we go. I'm gonna show you guys the beautiful hardware on this bag. Right here you have the Lily Jade logo, and I think this gold is so pretty. It's not even like the super bright gold or anything. It's a nice muted gold, so it still appears gold, but it's not shouting at you, which I love. I don't really like golds that are too bright, so I really, really love this. It looks really nice and high quality. You also have this beautiful jade detail over here with the Lily Jade logo on this little metal piece here, and then the tassel, which I think is so pretty and such a great detail to this bag. And it just hooks right here. And if you are not a fan of this, you can definitely remove it. You just loosen this part right here and it can come right off. I suggest if you're going to wear this bag backpack style that you tighten it a little bit more around here so that it doesn't actually go down the strap here and hang really low on your back, which I've seen in pictures and I'm not a huge fan of that. I always make sure that I tie it real tight before I decide to do that just so that it stays put. On the top here, you have two nice long tote straps, which are super comfortable. I've really enjoyed carrying the bag this way. And I do keep my strap on the back here secured at the top so that I can just grab and go backpack style whenever I want. Um, a lot of people probably wouldn't do that, but I like to be able to have options with my bags. So if I already have the backpack straps attached, I can just grab it and go wherever I wanna go. And I love the tote straps too for the same reason, because this is how I grab it out of my car. Another great feature about this bag is that you have some D-rings on the sides here. You can attach this to your stroller, a shopping cart. All you would have to do to do that is just have stroller clips and you can attach it to pretty much anywhere. And it also is great for attaching your messenger strap too. So those are really awesome. I really, really love D-rings on the sides of bags for that reason. Now on the actual outside of the bag here, you have three good pockets. I especially love the front one here. This is your biggest pocket on the outside of the bag and it can actually hold quite a bit. I tend to only keep my keys and my phone in there, just things that I wanna grab and go really quick if I need to. So in this pocket here, like I mentioned, oh, and look at that beautiful red. It's just such a beautiful pop of color. And I think it really accents this particular color of this bag. So pretty. So I have my phone. This is just an iPhone 6. 
And you can definitely fit an iPhone 6 Plus in here. Like I mentioned, this is a really good size pocket. And all of these pockets on the outside have magnetic snap closures, so you don't have any of that noisy Velcro, which I really appreciate. And the other thing I have in here is my keys. And I definitely had tons more room to spare in there. On the other side here, I also wanted to mention before I get into this pocket that I will place all of the links for all of the items that I have in this video in the description below for you guys. So if you want to shop through there and find the same things or the same type of things, then we'll have that option. So in this pocket here, you have another magnetic snap closure. And in here, I just have a small set piece. This is made by Jujube and Tokidoki. And this is just a little pouch that holds all of my necessities. So in here I have some blotting wipes, an EOS stick, a custom made mirror, a couple of rubber bands, a lip gloss, a folding hairbrush, and I have some eye drops. So that's just the perfect size actually to fit in here. I don't have any problems closing that at all. That's all that I had room for in that particular pocket. But as I mentioned in my last video, and I'll link it right here for you guys, you can definitely put your keys in here too. This is such a great pocket for that. So on the other side, this one, it's identical to the one on the other side. In here, I just have a few things that once again, I'd wanna grab kind of quickly. So I have hand sanitizer spray. I also have some face wipes by the Neat Cheeks. As you keep seeing that, it keeps re-closing itself and it keeps going back exactly where it's supposed to, which I really like. It's kind of hard for this video, <laughs> but otherwise I think that's pretty awesome that it automatically closes right away. That's really helpful for us some busy moms, you know? So I also have some gum in there and I think that's it. So yeah, this is a great pocket to keep those types of things in. And I just wanna go over the back of the bag real quick with you guys. This is it, it's so pretty and I just love it so much. And on the back here, this is how I have it tied at the top. You do not have to have it this way. You can definitely just loop it through as usual, but I really, really love having it anchored at the top like this. That way the straps don't move or go anywhere. And if I'm grabbing and going somewhere real quick with this, it just feels like it's a lot more secure. So that's why I have it like that. And it's really easy to attach the straps to the bottom of the bag. You just have to secure them to the D-rings here. And it's really easy to remove too. So there's no pockets or anything, but I really love the detailing on this on the back of the bag here. I'll show you guys, you have some nice like patchwork stitching, which I really think it adds to the character of the bag. So that is the outside of the bag. And now I'm going to go ahead and jump onto the inside of the bag for you guys for the rest of this packing video and review. So this is the top of the bag and you have a nice long zipper on the top here and it's really smooth and easy to open. And look at this gorgeous red color. This bag has a very silky smooth texture on the inside and I really, really love it. And then you have this really awesome baby bag insert. Look at how much organization you have. You have so many pockets to fill up and you actually have even more space on top here that I didn't even utilize. The baby bag insert is attached here on the sides by two magnetic snaps, one over here and one over here. And I really like that it attaches to the side like that because it really keeps the insert open so that you can grab things in and out. And if you decide that you wanna use this bag for yourself for an overnight trip somewhere, you can just remove the insert and it opens up a ton of space. And that is something that I really love about Lily Jade's diaper bags. Even if you have a baby that has outgrown the diaper stage or even needing a diaper bag at all, you have a high quality leather bag that can easily become a purse. Or if you're like me and you like to use pouches to organize your bags instead of the insert, then you can always remove it and organize that way. I don't have this actually in the bag, but I also have the change pad here and it's good size. It's perfect size for a newborn to be on. I think it's a little too small for larger babies, but I don't know if you guys can even see how big that is, but it really folds up nice and small and can just fit right in the side of one of the pockets on the insert. So it's just a really great little thing to keep in your bag with you. But I really like that they have that available. So that is the change pad all rolled up. And as I mentioned before, the change pad and the insert are both machine washable. So if you spill milk or food or anything like that, it can easily just come out and go in the wash. So now I'm going to go through all of my pouches and things. The first thing that I'm going to go over are the two pockets on the inside of the insert. I have three size five diapers on this one. It's actually the perfect size for diapers. On the opposite side, I have a wipes case. This is called a wipe pouch. It's really awesome. And I'll link the review for it right here for you guys. And it's inside of a custom made cover, which I will leave the information for that in the description as well for you guys. But it's just a wipes case and it's really awesome. It fits perfectly in this pocket here. 
On the opposite side here, you have a zipper on the inside of the insert. And in here, I just have a few smaller things I didn't want getting lost in the bag. So I have a little tissue holder. And then I have my MCO coin purse. This just has insurance cards and punch cards and things like that. It's a perfect pocket for small things like that. You also have a little small pocket over here and I have my perfectly posh hand cream in there. I just set it upside down and it fits perfectly in there. There's also two stretchy bottle pockets on the inside of this bag, which are perfect for taller, skinnier bottles. Um, but I have my trash bag dispenser here for stinky diapers, and that fits great in there too. <laughs> That's all I had in that one. I don't have anything in the other one on this side because I wanted to be able to utilize the most inside space that I could. So right here in the very middle, this is my snack bag. This is a Jujube large set piece. And in here, I just have snacks and drinks and things. I have a milk, I have granola bars, I have cookies, I have some fruit snacks and juice. So that's just for my boys to split. So that's all the snacks that I have in the middle. And I think that's all I have actually in the entire inside portion. Now I'm going to go over the pockets on the outside. You actually have four pockets on the sides here. I don't know if you can see that very well. You have one over here, one here, and then on the other side it's the same way. I didn't utilize the pockets on the furthest outside part. I did use the two taller ones though. On this side I have a GGB medium set piece, and in here I just have a change of clothes for my youngest. I have a shirt and a pair of shorts in here all rolled up, and then I have a little pair of socks for him too. That's all I had on that side. On the other side I have my 17 ounce swell bottle, and this fits perfectly in that outside pocket. As I mentioned, these middle inner pockets here with the elastic fit smaller bottles really, really well, but something this big doesn't really fit in there, but the outside pockets accommodate it, no problem. And I don't have anything in the other pocket on the other side there. I'm gonna go ahead and attach this side here, or detach it, um, so I can show you guys a little bit better. But there are actually four pockets on this side. You have two and two. And on this side, I have a little med kit, and this just has band-aids, ointment, nail clippers, thermometer, things like that, in case there's a boo-boo. And right in front of that, in the other pocket, I have another pouch. This is another small set piece. And in here, I just have some charging cables and an emergency charging block for my phone. If my phone runs out of power, I definitely need that. I use it all the time. On the other side here, I have a little iPod. This is for my five-year-old to play. If he gets bored and we're out and about, this has games on it and educational stuff so that he can play. And right in front of that, I have a couple of toys for my littlest. He loves Transformers. So I have a couple of Transformers cards for him to play with. That's all I have on that entire side. As you can see, this bag really holds a ton. I'm going to go ahead and, I guess, unsnap this side so you guys can see. On this side, there's actually two larger pockets. And on this side, I have a smaller wallet by Kate Spade and it fits perfectly in there, I can just grab it and go. I don't trust my wallet being on the outside pockets because they're easier access for people to get to, um, so I keep this inside of the bag. On the opposite side here, I have a play pack case, and this just has a couple of play packs that I can give to my boys if we're at a restaurant or they get bored somewhere. They can just color and use stickers and have some fun. Now that I've gone through all of those pockets, I'm going to go ahead and remove the insert and just show you guys how it looks. As I showed you guys just a little bit ago, you have four pockets on this side. On the opposite side, you have two larger pockets. On the sides, you have two pockets each. And on the inside, you have two deep large pockets on this side, a smaller pocket over here, a zipper compartment here, and two elastic bottle pockets there. It's such a great insert and I love it. Now that I have the bag completely empty, hopefully you guys can see, but that's how it looks like on the inside. You have a smaller pocket over here, a little bit of a larger pocket here, probably for phone or something. On this side, you have a leather trimmed zipper pocket, and this one's even a little bit bigger than the other one over there. And then you have a place to attach your keys to if you wanna use this bag as a purse. And this bag, as I mentioned before, is so big once you remove the insert that you can actually use this as an overnight bag for yourself if you wanted to. And something really cool that I want to show you guys is if you do decide to use this as a purse and you don't want your things flopping all over the place because it is nice and empty and big inside, you can always join the two clips together and that just keeps your things a little bit more secure. 
Overall, I absolutely love this bag. It's gorgeous, it's classy, it's timeless, and just really functional. It definitely works well for multiple children. Please keep an eye out for my On The Body video coming later this week, and I'll show you how to wear this bag all the different ways that you can. If you liked this video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe while you're here. Thanks for watching.